What's up everybody, the Poets here, and a little bit of story time. So, you remember when you're young and you see something out of the ordinary? So you grab a stick, and just kind of just poke it, maybe like poke it again, not knowing like what may actually happen. That's kind of what happened today with the keyboard. Roll the clip. It's been said that I'm an ergonomic man. And yet this is here, sent to me by Asus, their ROG Strix Scope RX optical mechanical switch, linear and swift. Hmm. I should poke it with a stick. So let's get into this uh, Republic of Gamers ROG Strix Scope RX mechanical keyboard, optical mechanical keyboard. I have a lot to learn. I've tried a lot of keyboards, but I haven't really paid attention to the keyboard genre. There's a lot of enthusiasts. They love their mechanical keyboards, and I didn't even know I was using a membrane keyboard until I was called out for using a membrane keyboard. Uh, this unboxing is pretty straightforward. Two uh, booklets of paper. I'm sure I'm going to need them to learn how to do macros and stuff like that. Uh, so let's set the box aside and get into this. Uh, packaged is uh, straightforward. Let's take it on out. And I do like the initial look of it. I will say that. And it's got some weight as well. Uh, definitely some weight. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a stunning piece of uh, equipment right there. Uh, I like the fact they're using Velcro. You know, let's, let's uh, try to stop using all those plastic twist tie things and this caught me by surprise two USB plugs on a keyboard I guess it takes a lot of power I wonder if I can overclock it I'm sure I'll find out of course we have the appropriate branding right there and uh, yeah it's uh, it's kind of stunning uh, banana is uh, not for size that's for my stomach and the keycaps these are a little interesting because they have like four prongs on them. So they're really, really stable, I guess, instead of just having like one prong in the middle and then you might get some wobble. Uh, having four there, um, yeah, I had a little difficulty putting this on for the first time, but uh, I'm sure I'll get better at it over time. And, and that was actually kind of satisfying. I will say that. Uh, the stick is uh, my comfort stick, so indulge me. And uh, yeah. This is uh, going to be an interesting dive. We will get into a thorough audio test in a little while, but the back was kind of kind of stunning as well. They paid some attention to it. Not that I'll ever really see the back, but these pads are definitely grippy. So um, yeah, let me let me just uh, have my banana. I told you it wasn't for scale. It was it was definitely for me. So this is the desk, the setup. Deep Blue is going to be uh, penetrated by two plugs. Very long cord, uh, exceptionally long. So you have some options when it comes to how you want to arrange your setup. And of course, with old school USB, who knows if I'm gonna get this correct, but in a weird stars aligned way, I plugged both of them in correctly the first time. Yeah. Now these switches are optical, so right when you press them, it registers, and then you still have a long travel distance of four millimeters to go. Now there are a lot of interesting features here. Uh, of course, the one millisecond response time is really cool. The RGB is <laughs> RGB full, and of course it's got some dust and water resistance, which is nice. And that control key I really like. It's extra long for crouching. I showed you the USB, and that stealth key is kind of interesting, where you press it and uh, things get minimized and uh, the audio turns off as well. So that's the control key. It really is a nice size. And then there's on the fly macros. I, I need to really dive into that because some applications I use having macros are, are really helpful. Now, when it comes to actually using a keyboard, that's different from actually looking at the box. So uh, having these features here, you know, that I can read is nice, but when you're actually using the keyboard, that's when you can tell if it's actually meant for you. Just RGB up the wazoo, RGB branding, and it's actually 
not overwhelming either. So I actually like that. And this is the world's first optical switch with hollow squared stem design. Well, now that we're all plugged in, uh, I want to see some laser beams coming out of this thing. So again, here's the underneath of the keycap showing those uh, four prongs. I'm not even sure you what you would call them, but uh, it definitely does make the key feel very stable. I guess that's the best word for it. And here's uh, some laser beams in your eyes. And honestly, that's kind of cool. I I've never had a keyboard where uh, it's actually using light, it's optical. So this really fascinates me here. Being able to see what's going on underneath the key. Seeing that red kind of Y looking thing, V looking thing, getting pressed down and stretching out. That's kind of mesmerizing. I, I really like that. And then of course we have the space bar here. And you can kind of tell that it's pretty straightforward going down even though, like going down evenly, even though I'm only pressing one side. So that's a, that's a nice bit of engineering right there. I like the way this looks. This keyboard definitely has some interesting thought out features. You know, like the control key is extra wide for easily reaching to crouch in first person shooters or the privacy key up there as well. So uh, let's dive in with an audio test. For decades, I've been using ergonomic keyboards, and maybe this Asus ROG Strix Scope RX optical mechanical keyboard, even though it's a bit scary to me to try something different, it could be the one to break me out of my shell. So if I see you in game, just have comfort knowing that I may have owned you using this mechanical keyboard. Thanks. Subscribe for more. and. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.